What's up, everybody? It's Goose. I'm about to get my chainsaw tune up. This is a Husqvarna 460 Rancher, 60 cc. Um, I'm gonna do the spark plug, the fuel filter, and the air filter. Um, this little tune-up kit. Uh, I got it off Amazon for 25 bucks. Um, I've done this once before. My chainsaw just started running rough recently. Uh, kept wanting to die. Um, seems I need to do this every two years. So, <clears throat> start with the air filter and the spark plug. I believe I can access both of them up here. This is just my chainsaw tool. I should be able to do it all with this. Um, get it on that screw already. Pretty sure I can access the air filter and the, uh, <coughs> I just knocked that, I can't think of what that's called right now. Push that down to get it out of the way, it's in the way of this cover. <coughs> um, but if I remember correctly, the I know the air filter's in here, but I'm pretty sure this gives me access to the uh, spark plug too. Should have just went ahead and loosened all this. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what y'all want to see. I'll just do what I do. All right. That's the cover. Three screws with the flathead. Comes right off. <clears throat> Here's my spark plug. Here's my air filter. Uh, let's go ahead and do this air filter. I guess this thing, yep, that just comes right down. I bet this air filter is going to be nasty. I should probably clean it more often. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty nasty. We'll compare it. Let's see if this thing opens right up for me or not. Oh, heck. Might need a knife. Man, strength. There we go. Drop a piece of trash. I don't want to lose that. <clears throat> Spark plug. I'll leave the steel filter in here for now. I don't want to get it dirty. All right. Here's the new air filter. Lock cleaner. <laughs> this thing is nasty. But here's the new one. Get rid of that thing. Put this back how it was. It, I always just pay attention how it comes off, but it makes sense. I mean, that obviously lines up with this. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Alright, slides right on there. Push that back up. You see it has these little eh, has these little things that clips onto. So make sure you push it all the way up. Oh. Ow. It's a little sharp piece of plastic there. About got me. Alright. Now that's there. Just pull this uh spark plug wire off. <clears throat> I assume this thing's gapped right. Um, I didn't gap it last time. I didn't think of it, but worked last time, so we'll do it again. Ratchet could be handy right here, but 
she was my chainsaw tool. All right. Ooh wee. Yeah, that thing's nasty. Old one and the new one. Always make sure to start everything by hand. You're screwing something in, you should always start by hand so you don't cross thread it. You start it with a wrench or something, you can cross cross thread it and ruin it and have to replace this whole part. I don't know what that part is, but you cross thread it, you're gonna have to replace it. It's a spark plug, so you don't want to crank it down too tight. You just want to get it snug. It's just snug enough for it to not come loose. Definitely don't want to break it in there. Tighten it too much, you will break it. Um, all right. There's that. You get that on there good. It's uh, nice and snug. That's all there is to the air filter and the spark plug. Put my cover back on. Tighten my screws back down. Probably could have done a better angle, but I put my phone right here so I can see it to make sure this video ain't completely terrible it is what it is I guess I really have to see the actual screw it's if you don't know how to loosen and tighten a screw you probably shouldn't be working on your own stuff <laughs> You want to learn it go ahead but uh i encourage it but um you definitely be able to figure out how to loosen and tighten screws without me actually without actually seeing me do it righty tighty lefty loosey that's the, that's the key to that Once again, get it snug. If I can get it in there, it's kind of getting dark out here. Getting dark earlier these days. Get it snug, but not too tight because that is plastic and you could break it. All right, flip it over. Go to the <clears throat> open the gas. Um, it's good to run it out of gas or almost out of gas anyway. This thing, uh, you just kind of pinch it. I'll show y'all. You just push these together. Let me see. Push them together a little bit and you can slide it out and get it out of your way. Set that out of my way. I can't see in there. Uh, stick your finger in there. Did it come off? Uh-oh. Fish that uh, fuel line out. Okay, I need assistance. Ah, there we go. Come on, come on. There it is. All right. That's your fuel line. Here's my fuel filter. Wear gloves if you don't want gas on your hands. I'm not too worried about it. Grab my new fuel filter. Compare these, which this one's been sitting in gas for two years, so it's obviously dirty. But here's some comparison. New one's a lot, a lot cleaner. So, through that old one, and it just slides in there. It's uh, pretty simple. Let me see. Kind of got grooves, so it doesn't come loose. So. Just take that and push it in there. Get it seated all the way in. Just drop it back in. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> take this thing and uh, squeeze those together again. Let 
that's it that's all there is to it that's uh how you tune up your chainsaw and last time i did this it made it run, run like it was new and i'm i'm hoping it's the same thing um that air filter was probably my problem uh but we'll find out tomorrow i got some trees to drop tomorrow so i'll see y'all later goose out <laughs>